Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amiru. In this video, we are going to learn how to use store procedure in uh, Azure Data Factory with parameters. Uh, so what we are going to do, we are going to create a store procedure and then we'll call that in Azure Data Factory. There could be many reasons uh, you will be using this store procedures uh, in the Azure Data Factory. Maybe you are doing uh, uh, some uh, upsets, maybe you are uh, taking some input uh, uh, parameter values and then uh, running the parameter, maybe deleting the records, uh, you know, so there are tons of scenarios where you can uh, use this. Uh, so first of all, let me show you, I am connected to my Azure SQL database and the database name is called the Tech Brothers. It has uh, multiple tables and one of them is called the Orders. So let me select the data from Orders table and uh, let me show you. And now what we will do, we have uh, this uh, country and region columns here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a store procedure here that will accept two parameters, one region and then one country and delete that record of, or maybe all the records related to that uh, criteria. So let me go ahead and create this uh, store procedure, create procedure and uh, we call it dbo.sp, maybe delete uh, order, okay, delete orders and uh, we are going to accept two parameters, one is region and region is going to be worker in my case worker 100 is fine and then uh, what we are going to do we are going to do another one country and the worker 100 is fine for that as well so now we are all good as and we say begin and then now we are going to say delete from let me make the screen a little bigger and delete from dbo.order where your uh, region is equal to at the rate region and then uh, and uh, your country is equal to at the rate country okay and uh, you're gonna say hit end now that's all this is your store procedure that will be whatever the values you provide for region and country and uh, then it's gonna delete the all the records from order depending on two, two of those parameter values so let's create this uh, store procedure and now we have created that and I'm not gonna execute here uh, we can actually if you wanna just take a look but uh, uh, we have total 11 records so we will do experiment in the Azure Data Factory so let's go to the Azure Data Factory here we are in the portal and I'm going to take process IT ADF uh, Azure Data Factory once uh, I am in there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a pipeline okay go to the author and here in the go to the pipelines new pipeline different people do different things they create linked services first and then work on the pipeline in my case I always start from the pipeline and if I need to create a linked service I will create it there so you can rename your pipeline and then move from there so the activity what we need is called the store procedure so first uh, bring the store procedure here and uh, what I'm going to do actually on the pipeline level I'm going to create two parameters first uh, these parameters could be coming from uh, many places they, they could be coming maybe you have saved the parameter values in some table you use a lookup activity to get the values for those parameters and then uh, use them in the store procedure so uh, right now I'm going to go I'm clicking right here in the canvas and then I'm going to the parameters and hit the new. These are on a pipeline. If I click to click a store procedure, then you see that the, the menu does change here. So you have to click on the white canvas set on to be on the pipeline level. So go to new and I'm gonna call this, uh, let's say P and uh, P region, okay? So this is my pipeline uh, and the value, I can put any value. Now I, another one, I'm gonna go for country and uh, here we can put the values. Uh, now we will provide the value depending upon the, our delete what we want. Now go to store procedure and in this store procedure we are going to go to settings and it's asking hey provide me the linked service. So we need to tell which database or server of uh, Azure SQL database. So, so you can select right, right there, select a subscription and uh, select your database and then select your username and password. So my username is TB user and my password is uh, password. Now I'm going to hit the test connection. Okay, so why a test connection is not appearing? Let's see. Let's, uh, so it's called link service. Yes, uh, type is Azure SQL database, auto resolve. And uh, this is my subscription. Select the database is missing. So tech browser IT. Now it is all good. Now also I'm going to name this one uh, Azure my 
uh, Tech Brothers LNK. So I know that this is always coming from there. Okay, so this has to be okay. This, there is already one existing here, so I'm gonna call it uh, LNK or something. Okay, great. And uh, it's gonna create our link service. Now we can test our link service. It's already tested. Now we have to select the store procedure. In the drop down, we have all those store procedures here, and this is the one we just created the SP orders. The oh, sorry, SP delete orders that's what we created. And now we are going to hit import, and this is going to bring the parameters. Now it brought the country and region parameter name, and you guys remember that they are right here, these are the name. Okay, so it brought that. And uh, one more thing you're going to see that this is a, a kind of sorted all it started with C, and this is all right, so it's already sorted. So don't worry about that part, uh, they are there now. What you're going to do. Uh, you're gonna map these or provide some values. So I'm gonna map uh, to the actually my pa pipeline parameter and uh, so you can see that how you map the parameters from the pipeline parameters. So go to the pipeline parameter right here, click here and then we are gonna provide some value. In the region I'm gonna say Asia and the country India. So th these are two values. So if I go back to my table I have uh, many records. So I see right there Asia and India so there are a couple of records there, they will be deleted. So I'm going to go back and uh, I provided these values. Now I'm going to go to the store procedure and here I will map my pipeline parameter to the store procedure parameters. So I'm going to click right here and it's going to ask me add dynamic content and I'm going to go and select a P country. That's my pipeline parameter. So select right there and then I'm going to select the P region. That's my pipeline parameter. So I'm mapping my pipeline parameters to my uh, store procedure parameters. And now I'm all good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit debug. And it is showing me, hey, these are the values you have provided for your pipeline parameter. Yes, I did. And now hit OK. And now it's going to run. Our store procedure has been completed successfully. Click right here on the output. So you can see some information. There is not a whole lot of information like how many records are deleted and all that. It just tells you the store procedure has been completed successfully. Let's go back to our uh, SSMS and take a look. Before running the store procedure, we had total alignment records. And now I'm going to execute a select command again. And now we have only records. All the records are for region Asia and country India has been deleted. So this is how you will call your stored procedure in the Azure Data Factory with parameters and pass the parameters from your pipeline to the stored procedure parameter. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.